Let me show you how you can connect your Mac to an external display. Now keep in mind that this will apply to pretty much any Mac, especially from the M1 and later on. And I will show you the two ways that you can do this. One, using the Mac and also with the lid of the Mac closed and how you can still use the external display. Essentially turning your external display basically into the new Mac display with the MacBook closed. So let me show you how this works. So to get started, what you basically want to do is connect an HDMI to type C. This is likely the case for you and basically anyone with a Mac. I highly doubt you using an HDMI port on your Mac and you want to connect it to one of the type C ports on your laptop and the HDMI to the external monitor. Now you also want to connect the power cable of the Mac and make sure the power is on and I will show you very soon why that's very important. Otherwise it will not work if you want to use the Mac with the lid closed. If that's the case for you, make sure that it is plugged in to power. And the next step is obviously to turn on the external display and make sure that the source is changed to the HDMI. If you game on your external monitor, it likely means it's set to the display port. So change it to HDMI. I don't know, it depends on your monitor how you'll do this, but make sure that you change the source of the input and the Mac should automatically be able to extend its display to the external display without you having to do anything. Now to test if the screens are working properly, just take the cursor on the screen and push it to the side and keep pushing it more until it basically jumps to the external display screen. If it doesn't go in one direction, try the other side and we'll come back to how we can change these settings very soon. Now I did tell you at the start of this video to make sure that you plug in your Mac and that is because if you close the lid of the Mac and you're using an external display, the external display will turn off which it doesn't in this case because it's plugged in. But if it's not plugged into any power and you close the lid, as you can see here, it'll simply turn off the external display screen as well. So that's why you want it to be connected if you plan on using your Mac closed and instead using the external display. Now on your Mac, you can go into the settings and in the settings, you can go to the displays option. In there, you will have the different settings and options for your external display and your Mac display. So you can change which one you want to be your primary display and you can change which orientation you want the displays to be in. Do you want it on the left? Do you want it on the right? You can also change the refresh rate of the external display if it supports it. So in my case, I have an M1 MacBook Air and the highest it can go on the external display is 100 hertz and my monitor supports up to 165 hertz. So that's fine. But there you go. Nice and simple. And I'll see you in the next one.